You've been off for so long, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no restrictions. Uh, I hit the ground running August 8th. Um, no setbacks either, and I'm just ready to roll. Everyone want to challenge you to race to see if you're still the fastest guy? Uh, it's fun. Nobody was really eager to do that, but um, nobody did. You, you feel, though. But I, feel, I still feel fast. Yeah. Uh, I think I look fast, too, but we'll, we'll see on Saturday. No part of anything that gives you any mental hurdles to overcome, like blocking? Oh, none. None at all. Um, I mean, I say it time and time over again. I mean, the expectation is in position. And if I can't carry out my duties as a Michigan wide receiver, then I wouldn't really be playing. But um, I feel fully confident in the game plan, fully confident in my abilities, and uh, just trust God that everything goes well. Right. We saw that at the end of the year, you and Jake had, had more of a connection than maybe earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. Is that something that is going to take time that you think build again? Or because these guys, because you were with them obviously in the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's tough to answer that question, but I don't think we'll have any issues. Um, I think we've, the guys have been working very hard, um, regardless of who the quarterback will be. Um, I've built a relationship with uh, all the quarterbacks now, um, well, mostly four of them uh, the, that take the, the 4D rotation and whatnot. And I really think that we uh, we trust our game plan, we trust what coaches are doing to be able to go out and execute whatever place he does call for us. I think at some point last year you said um, when you have a, when you have multiple quarterbacks you have to develop to develop chemistry you have to take right, as right. many reps with one with each of them as exactly. you would with one. Are you doing that again this year? Yeah, I definitely did that. Um, ever since that uh, we got to put pads on on uh, was that that Monday, mm -hmm. August eighth. Um, I made sure Amar made sure and Grant and then all the other receivers we made sure to kind of fell in line to. Um, whether it was scripted reps during practice or after practice um, to really make sure we're getting the same amount of reps uh, with the different type of routes that each of us run uh, throughout practice and whatever coach was telling us to run and focus in on uh, whatever route we had to focus in. We had to do that over and over with all the quarterbacks. Your head coach has mentioned uh, Johnson and McDoom as a couple of freshmen that have kind of stepped yeah. up at receiver. What, what does he see in them, or what do you see in them? Yeah, I, mean, I see two young, talented guys, um, both fast. Um, and, I mean, to come in here as a freshman in any position here at Michigan to really try to grasp the offensive playbook because it is an NFL scheme. Um, we're in hybrid offense, and uh, it's just really a credit to those guys, um, the amount of time they spend studying outside of football and the amount of courage and uh, they have to learn something then go execute against the ones or the twos. And um, I'm really proud of those guys for how far they have came from August 8th to this day. And I mean, I really think they have an opportunity to really help this team going forward. What are the individual skills with those two guys that you see? Yeah, I mean, uh, Eddie, he's a very fast receiver. Um, he, uh, I think he can create a separation for himself uh, while he's route running. Uh, Nate Johnson, similar uh, to Grant Perry, very shifty, very nifty guy. Um, I think you get him across the middle, you can do dangerous things to a defense. Um, but you have to really keep those guys in check if you're a defensive coordinator because they can really uh, hurt you down the field if you're, not, if you're not careful. What kind of growth has Chris Evans had from the first time you met him to now, and what's he going to be like on the offense? Um, I think we'll use Chris. Um, obviously, it's not my decision whether we use him or not, but. Um, as, a, as an older guy watching him play, watching him prepare for the game. Uh, I think um, he has a lot of good things going for him right now. He's very talented, very raw talent. And uh, like I said with Nate and uh, Eddie, I mean, he's a guy that can help us down the stretch too. Jay, when was, you, when was your rehab over and, and you felt I'm 100%? Yeah, so the thing is, um, it's tricky, right? Because it's never really over because uh, you have to, constantly uh, keep treating, constantly um, keep getting the ice tub, constantly keep making sure everything's good, right? Because um, I can remember like a couple of years ago, we were at Rutgers, I hurt my uh, my left ankle, right? Um, and even though it wasn't anything serious, I'm still doing rehab for that, right? Um, even in high school, I can think, you know, you get little tweaks here, I mean, you're always doing rehab. So I don't think it's uh, it's a, anything that you've arrived, it's just a process, right? As you go through the, the rehabilitation process, um, you feel you feel more and more confident every single day, and I think that's where uh, I'm really gaining momentum, and I get to showcase what I've been working on uh, this afternoon. Okay, you know, uh, Amara said that uh, you two have kind of built your own little competition within the game, trying to outscore each other. How yeah. uh, how has that been going as in campus? And, yeah, it's uh, been going well. I think. 
think we may be tied in a few things right now. Um, but man, I love that kid. He's uh, he's a competitor at heart, uh, true friend, true brother, and, um, and I really think that's what makes us good, man. Um, talking about the Michigan receivers as a whole, because we'll compete with guys in practice, like with Jabril, with Jordan, with Delano, with Tyree. We'll compete with all those guys, right? And because um, we want to try to be the best for each other, and if we're the best for each other, we know that when we do go uh, up against an opponent DB or uh, we look at an opponent's um, offensive scheme, we're confident that our defense has seen the best. Um, they're confident that they've seen the best. And we can really go out there and execute and play for each other. Thurston, coming off the injury, are you doing anything in the return game? In the in special team line? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I am. I've been uh, active in the return game. Um, as far as depth chart stuff like that, they haven't really released anything. So, but um, in my head, I'm ready to go uh, wherever the position puts me, um, whatever they want me to do. There were timing issues in the Utah game. We could see just in the passing game and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it'll be different this year in the opener? I mean, why, why would? Why? why do you think it'll be different that you guys will be what, more the passing in sync? Game? Yeah, it seemed like there was. A, you know, the, the interception issues, oh, overthrows, yeah. stuff like well, that. Well, so the expectation is the same. Um, right. I don't know what the result's going to be. Uh, we don't know what the results are going to be, but our expectation last year was the same, right? Um, we never go into a game thinking we're going to have trouble throwing the ball. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I can't tell you what we're going to throw for. I can't tell you any stats, but um, I can tell you what I expect, and I expect to, to throw the ball around well, and I expect to uh, have a great day in the passing game. You probably don't have a lot of time to get sentimental if you, you're getting ready for a football season. But yeah, talk about Dave about coming down this path for the last time as a, as a Michigan football player. Yeah, I mean, when you do have breaks in your day to kind of just step back and like, wow, like, um, just to kind of see what you've accomplished over the past four years and for me five, because uh, I'm in grad school now and uh, to receive my diploma, it's one of the I mean, it's a very special moment um, to graduate from the greatest institution in the world. Um, and then also, I'm um, taking classes right now at Ross to, to make sure I get my master's in management degree. Um, and when you think about that, you just think about how much God has blessed you, uh, blessed me and my family to this point. And I'm really, really thankful to play for Coach Harbaugh, really, really thankful for my teammates because um, you get saturated to all the heat, to all the practice, to everything, and you start to feel sorry for yourself. But once you really step back and, and you're like, man, like, somebody else is praying for the same opportunity that I have right now, it really gives you a perspective as to why you should be working hard and why you're doing what you're doing. What kind of momentum do you guys, I mean, it's, it's been a long time, it's been almost not, not, not a year, obviously, but a long time since the bowl game, but it was yeah. a momentum kind of game. What, what kind of momentum can you guys take from that? Um, well, uh, we can take everything positive from that game. Um, uh, Coach Fish always has it saying, good, better, best. Um, uh, you work that you're so that your good is better than your best and you keep stacking it over and over again and I think we left off in a place where um, our best was good and then now we're trying to raise the bar again you know if you, if you know what I mean and so we just have that opportunity this Saturday to do that because um, kind of with the rehabilitation thing you can never really arrive right um, you want to keep getting better and better and better and better you want to have a growth mindset and I was fortunate enough, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, I read a, I read a book with Ann Kurz and um, it's called Growth, uh, it's called Mindset by Carol Black. It's a very good book and it talks about how uh, you can never really truly arrive to uh, your potential because um, while you're still breathing, you always have the opportunity to get better and when you look at life like that, when you look at football like that, um, and the teams have that perspective, you can grow exponentially in a short amount of time. Always hungry. Always hungry. <laughs> How would you feel about playing a game at 6 a.m. like Hawaii has to do on their time? Uh, well, if you love football, I love it. Uh, I mean, football is football, whether what, whatever time it's played at, um, I'd be ready just like uh, they're going to be ready, um, and it'll be great. Who is the uh, starting quarterback? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that question. It's not you don't know or you're it not is, allowed to it answer is it. It is Eric Magnuson. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out when uh, when we call our first play on uh, Saturday at 12 or 3. I'll find out then. Fibbing. Time for a few more for Jay. Fibbing, Jay. Hmm? You're fibbing. Jim said he told the I'm team. I'm fibbing? Yeah. Did he tell the team? <laughs> he just I must not have been in that meeting. I must, I must, have, been, I must have been rehabbing. I, I don't know. I must have been rehabbing at the time. 
you guys I, spent that week in Florida bonding mm-hmm. and doing your spring thing. Yeah, you're spending IMG? the week in the hotel. Yeah, 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 so yeah. You're spending the week in, in the hotel this mm-hmm. week. Is that? I mean, we talk about a lot about bonding. Does yeah. that really help? Yeah, I mean, gosh, uh, shared time, shared suffering. Uh, two ways to really make relationships stick, and so we, we definitely share the suffering, and we're sharing the time in the hotel, and so. I mean, it's the perfect formula to put a team together, and I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. Shared time, shared. Is that a carbonism? The, the two. Is it? No, I actually got that from. Um, it was a Navy SEAL that came and talked to us a few years ago. Um, I'm blanking on it. His name was Clay. I forget his last name. Uh, Colonel Clay, but he was a uh, he was a good guy. Good guy. How did you find out about that book you were mentioning? Did someone recommend? Mindset. It to you? Yeah, uh, my professor Ann Kurzandin. Um, we read it as uh, uh, in class. Yeah. What was the title of that again? Mindset, Mindset. by Carol Dweck. Dweck, Dweck, D W E C K. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Good book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are, are there any harbaisms that have stuck with you over the oh, last over the years? few years? Gosh, uh, it's hard when you're on the spot. You kind of just got to go on your day. But, um, I will say this because now uh, the question about um, the hotel and whatever, like, you know, bonding time, but you get good at what you do. And what Coach always tries to do is um, you get, if you play football a lot, you'll get good at playing football. Um, if you study a lot, you'll get good at whatever you're studying. And so um, sometimes if got people ask, like, oh, why don't we do, like, um, go, and, like, I don't know, like, go do a training course or something that has nothing to do with football, that's fun, you know, but coaches, well, we're playing football, um, and that's the only way we're going to get good is playing football. So um, whatever you practice, that's what you're going to be good at. And so I think when coach really makes an emphasis of bonding through football, and once you bond through football and you know the guy has your back, um, like if I get a signal from the quarterback, I give it to him or whatever it may be. Um, He knows that I have his back, right, because we've been doing this over and over and over, and it's like a well-oiled machine, and so that's kind of what Coach wants us to kind of build this up to. How 